Hey there good people, I'm Scott and this is Sworded Shield Studio, a channel dedicated to giving you your weekly dose of DaVinci Resolve tips, tricks, tutorials, and all things video. Right now we're going to be looking at adjustment clips, what they are, how to use them, and how they might be handy when it comes to your own video work. All right, so let's get right into it. Okay, so now I am in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page where I have a couple clips loaded into my timeline. Before I add an adjustment clip to the timeline, you should have a basic understanding of what one does. An adjustment clip is a clip that you can place on your timeline like any other type of media, except that it applies all the effects and changes done to it to all the clips underneath it on the timeline. This is a fast and easily modifiable method to apply effects, fusion animations, color grades, and other adjustments to a specific range of clips in your project. So how do we do it? To place an adjustment clip, go to your effects library at the top left of Resolve, open the Toolbox section, go to Effects, and you will see Adjustment Clip as an option here. Hold left click and drag that above the clip that you want to affect with your adjustment options. Next, you can start playing around with the settings and you're an inspector for the adjustment clip. I'm going to zoom in slightly and rotate the image just a bit. Now you'll see Every clip that exists under this adjustment clip will be affected by these changes. When I play back this flower field, you'll see just the section where the adjustment clip exists is where that rotation and zoom is applying. Or if I drag it above both of these clips here, you'll see that rotation and zoom has applied to both wherever the adjustment clip is overlapping. If you know you're going to reuse this specific adjustment clip, you can save it by opening your media pool at the top left of Resolve here. And then hold left click and drag the adjustment clip into your media pool to save it. Now once you have the adjustment clip in your media pool, you can hit F2 to rename it. I'm just going to call this Rotate Zoom. A common way to use adjustment clips is to create transitions using some basic fusion effects. Let's see how we might be able to create something like this. Okay, so the first step to creating this zoom transition effect is to bring in an adjustment clip into your timeline. So we just learned how to do that. Let's drag it from our effects library above the two clips that we want to transition between. I'm going to transition between clips 1 and 3 on my timeline, so I will bring my adjustment clip above those two clips here. Next you want to change the length of your adjustment clip to half a second long. Now since I'm working in a 30 frames per second timeline, that means I will set my adjustment clip to 15 frames or half a second. It may be different depending on what frame rate you're working in in your project. And I will drag this 15 frame adjustment clip over the clips I'm transitioning between until it is centered at the point where the two clips meet here. Next, right click the adjustment clip and hit open in fusion page. This will bring us to the Fusion tab. Now, with your Media In node selected on your node tree, make sure there's a red outline around it. Press Shift Space and start typing Transform to get a Transform node and hit Enter to place that. Hit Shift Space again with your Transform node still selected and start typing zoom blur hit enter to place that hit control p on your keyboard to disable that zoom blur node we'll come back to it in a little bit now left click the transform node to open it up 
and navigate your playhead to the very beginning of the composition and set a keyframe in your inspector for size. Just left click the diamond next to it to set that. Then navigate your playhead on the scrub bar here until you see the first frame of your second clip and set another keyframe for size and navigate your playhead to the very end of the composition and set a third keyframe for size. Now with all three keyframes set I can go to the little arrow on the left here with our third keyframe selected to go back to that middle keyframe and I'm going to crank the size up to 5, something really dramatic. Next left click the zoom blur node and hit Control P to re-enable it. Next we're going to create a smooth strength keyframe at the very beginning of our composition and one again navigate your playhead to the center of the composition where you see the first frame of the second clip and create another smooth strength keyframe navigate your playhead to the very end and create a third smooth strength keyframe now set the value of the first and last the keyframes at the very beginning and end of your composition to zero so that the zoom strength is strongest when the motion is strongest in your transition now i am going to bump up the smooth strength of my center keyframe here to 0.7 and change the border type to reflect because otherwise as you can see there is a bit of a transparent background being revealed as our image gets warped and zoomed into but if you hit reflect it will reflect your image outside of the composition frame to fill in the edges. Now if we go into our edit tab and take a peek at how this transition looks, well it looks pretty good but it's a bit linear. It looks a bit robotic for some reason and we can adjust that. I will right click the adjustment clip and open in Fusion page again what we have to do now is hold left click and box select our transform and zoom blur nodes on our node tree. Go up to the top right of resolve and left click spline here to open the spline editor. Left click size and smooth strength to show, to make them show on our spline editor. And then hit this zoom to fit icon at the top right make everything fit in our graph better here and then hold left click box select all of the points that you see on the graph and left click the icon smooth at the bottom left of the spline editor and I will keep all of the values at the default here but basically what this does is smooth our speed ramp of our animation to create a more natural looking transition. Now if we go back to the edit page and see how that looks, well it looks a lot better, it looks more natural and we could fine tune it, maybe increase the zoom blur intensity a bit and make it perfect, but as you could see with an adjustment clip and a few alterations we were able to make a neat looking transition with very little effort. Again, if you want to save this for later, all you have to do is open up your media pool at the top left of Resolve and drag this adjustment clip in. And once the adjustment clip is in your media pool, you can hit F2 to rename it. And I will just call this Zoom 
transition. Done. Now anytime you want to get to this transition and use it, you have it right here in your media pool available for you at any time. Well, that does it for this tutorial. As you can see, adjustment clips have a lot of great uses from creating some basic transitions to applying specific effects at a specified range on your timeline. The great part about them is that they're easily toggleable, so you can experiment with different effects without worrying too much about the consequences. But that does it for me. As always, thank you for watching this video. I hope the information contained within it was helpful for you, and I'll see you next time.